Welcome to Road to Detailing. In this video, we are going to continue the interior cleaning process with all plastic components by using RRC Bad Boys Plastic Cleaner, Interior Detailer and Interior Dressing. But rest assured you, with seeing them perform side by side, this video aims to help you which product would give you the right finish you are looking for. If you have missed out the first part of this short series where you can see a simple and easy way to clean the fabric parts of your car's interior, make sure to check that out. So let's jump right into the middle and start with the plastic cleaner. There are two things which I really like right off the bat and one of them is the really high quality Canon trigger head which comes with all RRC Bad Boys products with a removable filter at the end of the suction tube. The other thing is the very nice fragrance they all have which blown me away immediately and I think that's a really important thing especially if we are talking about interior products. I use a soft brush from Liquid Elements but you can use this with a microfiber cloth as well but in my opinion using a soft brush will give you the best user experience experience and cleaning abilities because the agitation is much easier also helps the product to foam up better. Talking about foam, the plastic cleaner really has the ability to foam up really nice, which I like, and you don't need to spritz too much product on the brush, a little goes a long way as you can see. That makes the plastic cleaner a bit more cost effective, however, this is a ready to use product, meaning you can't dilute it down, but as I said, you don't really need to use too much of it. I can't say how much product exactly I used, but I still have almost the whole bottle and I used the product to clean 80% of all plastic components. The plastic cleaner is recommended to use on more solid surface where you need that extra bite, also you can use it on exterior plastic if you want. Once you clean the surface, you don't need to rinse, you just simply need to wipe that off with a clean microfiber cloth. This leaves a very nice natural look finish alongside with a great bubblegum scent, so if that's the finish you prefer, you won't be disappointed in my opinion even without a use of a dressing on top. Next up is the interior detailer which I would say is sort of an all-in-one product. You can use it on any plastic, rubber or vinyl component, also perfect for both matte and glossy surfaces. I would pick this for a regular cleanings where you don't need that extra bite, just a simple and quick wipe over. I use this with an applicator sponge and I wasn't really intended to see if this foams up using by a brush or not. But two weeks later I was still thinking about this question of mine so I went down to the car and give that a wipe over with the interior detailer using the same soft brush to see if the product would foam up or not. As you can see, not too much foaming action happens, but that's what I expected. Also, the recommendation from RRC says the same, apply a small amount of product with an applicator or microfiber cloth, so interior detailer doesn't intend to foam. In my personal opinion, the finish it leaves, close to a natural look and almost identical with slightly more depth to the plastic cleaner. I tried to record the difference, but the camera doesn't make a justice here, same with the cookie scent, which is by far my favorite out of all. With that being said, if you prefer slightly more pop in depth, but you still don't want a glossy finish, then the interior dressing could be a great addition on top of either the plastic cleaner or the interior detailer. You can use this on matte and glossy surfaces, however, RRC doesn't recommend using this on bright surfaces, but I personally think that's okay to do, just keep that in mind, this is something which the product might not need for. My usual go-to dressing is Car Pro Pearl, diluted down to 1 to 5, which I really like, but I enjoyed using this one better because it's less runny and easier to spread, plus it has an added cola fragrance. I was really worried about mixing all these beautiful scents inside the car will make me feel sick, but surprisingly it didn't happen. With that said, you can choose the same scent so you don't need to mix them. For example, you can have the plastic cleaner, interior detailer and the dressing with a cola scent. For my personal taste, the cookie scent is the absolute winner in the range, but this is only me and deciding on scent is always a personal preference. So which one to pick? I really enjoyed using the plastic cleaner overall, so if you're looking for something with more cleaning power, add its scent and natural plastic finish, that's the way to go. If you're looking for something for a quick job, regular use with also a natural finish, the interior detailer is a good all-in-one. And if you would prefer a step up on the finish look, then you can add the interior dressing on top of any of the two. 
If you are interested about the products I've used today, check the links in the description box below. I hope you found this video useful, if so, please give it a thumbs up. If this was your first time here at Road to Detailing, please consider to subscribe to the channel for videos like this and turn on the notification bell or be the first who knows when a new video drops. Talk to you in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, take care and see you soon.